You know, since the Harvey Weinstein story broke, unleashing a cascade of sexual misconduct claims, Hollywood has been on edge. The tension spilling over this week between the most high-profile woman in the Me Too movement and the most critically acclaimed actress the industry has ever known. Meryl Streep is the unofficial matriarch of Hollywood, nominated for 20 Academy Awards and winning three. I just want to thank my agent, Kevin Uvane, and God, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Rose McGowan is the de facto leader of the Me Too movement, one of the first to publicly accuse Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault. And that cannot stand, and it will not stand. Weinstein has repeatedly denied any allegations of sexual assault. Now these two Hollywood influencers are squaring off against each other. It started when Streep said she would wear black to the Golden Globes, along with a number of other actresses, to protest sexual harassment in the industry. On Twitter, an outraged McGowan accusing Streep of hypocrisy, suggesting she knew Weinstein was abusing women and remained silent, telling the actresses, maybe you should all wear Marquesa to the Golden Globes, a reference to the fashion line of Harvey Weinstein's wife, who left him in October. In a statement, Streep responded to McGowan, writing in part, I want to let her know I did not know about Weinstein's crimes. I wasn't deliberately silent. I didn't know. I don't tacitly approve of rape. I didn't know. Streep goes on to say she was never personally propositioned or assaulted by Weinstein, and that she had friends pass her phone number along to McGowan so they could talk. But no call came. The Oscar winner concluded, I am truly sorry she sees me as an adversary because we are both, together with all the women in our business, standing in defiance of the same implacable foe, a status quo that wants so badly to return to the bad old days, the old ways where women were used, abused, and refused entry into the decision-making top levels of the industry. McGowan did not directly respond, but in a tweet on Monday she wrote, The Marquesa line was beneath me, and I'm sorry for that adding, there is no map for this road I'm on. Other voices in the Me Too movement are also speaking out. They just said, wow, you look great. Addie Zanone says she came forward to talk about her relationship with former Today Show anchor Matt Lauer to support his accusers who have not spoken publicly. In 2000, Zanone was a 24-year-old production assistant for the Today Show when she says the two had a sexual relationship. I'm coming forward and saying, yes, this was consensual. It was an abuse of power. I want to put a face and a story to these women's accusations because I'm seeing that they're being doubted. Matt Lauer's representatives say they are not commenting on Zanone's story. He was fired for sexual misconduct in the workplace after a different woman came forward to NBC Human Resources and told her story. Guys. Stephanie, thank you. By the way, coming up in our next half hour, we have an exclusive interview with some of the women leveling disturbing allegations against Dustin Hoffman. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.